Hello YouTube, it's good to see you guys. Today I'm going to give you a an overview of a non-invasive way of dealing with rust. It's uh, your first resort. It's, um, you know, it may or may not work. Uh, it'll definitely get rid of some rust, but you may have to go take it to a next step. But, um, you know, this is, you know, this is the first step you want to take. Uh, not using any chemicals or anything that might mess up your metal. Uh, this is a great first attempt and in many cases last attempt at dealing with rust. So uh, let's go take a look. Alright guys, today we're going to get some rust off of a little buddy of mine that's been everywhere. Uh, it's been everywhere and, and that's why it's seen so much humidity down here in Florida. It's got rust all over the place. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Because uh, I guess I'm living and dying by these bright lights. But uh, we got some on the magazine. Uh, rust on the slide, rust on the barrel. We've got rust inside the barrel. Uh, more rust on the slide. And, um, I mean, I've carried a lot of guns quite a bit, and they haven't done all this. Um, you know, I mean, I guess it's partially Caltech and partially the fact that, that I have taken this thing just about everywhere with and without a holster. Uh, it's gotten pocket lint all over it. It's got some rust just about everywhere. We're going to fix that. I'm going to show you a way of doing it where you're not going to have to worry about uh, any kind of uh, corrosive chemicals or anything that might mess up your firearm, your metal even worse in the long run. Uh, we're just going to use some break free CLP and some brushes to go ahead and brush these things out. Here we got the break free CLP. Don't forget to shake it up before you use it. We're going to go ahead and use a, a boar snake. But the real stars of the show that are going to get rid of a lot of the, the rust are going to be the wire brushes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start with some of the lighter rust on the magazine. I'm going to use the nylon brush. But I have a feeling I'm going to be using the brass brush and these. Uh, these copper brushes quite a bit with the break free uh, to get rid of most of this. I have a feeling we're going to get rid of it all, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and let some of this stuff soak and break free for a while because it is looking pretty stubborn. One more thing I'm going to try dry uh, before we get going is the the boar snake. I'm going to try the boar snake uh, to get rid of that rust inside the barrel. See how that goes dry. Uh, after that, we won't see the boar snake anymore because I personally only use the boar snake dry. And that made a huge difference. There's still rust in there. You just can't see it on camera anymore because it made a big difference. I'm going to run it a couple more times. And uh, I still suspect I'm going to have to use a... Uh, I still suspect I'm going to have to use some brushes and some break free. But it did make a nice big dent in that. I'm going to go ahead and use an aluminum cleaning rod with a copper brush. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot dry inside the barrel and uh, you know I'm pretty much done with this dry stuff. I'm going to go ahead and soak it in break free CLP after that.
that helped another little bit but there's still some rust in there I'm gonna go ahead and soak all this stuff up in uh, break free CLP and then uh, give it a hit with those uh, wire brushes I'm gonna go ahead and clean off all the lint in all the rest of the firearm and uh, I'm gonna soak these parts overnight in the break free CLP I'm not just going to put some on and try to brush it off right now. I'm going to soak it overnight and break free and then give it a hit tomorrow. It's amazing how much rust there is on this slide. Never had to worry about that with a Glock. But I digress. Spread some on the magazine as well. <clears throat> we'll see you tomorrow. I got rid of the lint in much the same fashion as I'm applying the brake free and I just rubbed it off. Now I'm just going to rub on the brake free just as if I was lubricating the weapon. But what I'm really trying to do now is I'm trying to see if we can uh, leave this soaking overnight and penetrate some of that uh, rust, make it want to come off easier tomorrow night after I go ahead you know when I go ahead and brush it alright guys the brake free CLP did a very good job on the slide it did a pretty good job on the barrel but the barrel is still not all that great on the outside uh, the brake free CLP and the uh, the boar snake and the uh, the copper brush did a great job on the inside, but the ins you know basically the barrel needs more work on the inside and the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the big guns. We're gonna go ahead and step it up to automatic transmission fluid, fully synthetic automatic transmission fluid. We're gonna go ahead and put it on there for better or for worse and see how it comes out. I'm gonna apply it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it with uh, some Q-tips. I'm gonna leave it soaking overnight. See how it goes. This ATF isn't the kind of thing you want to get all over every, everywhere, so be careful with it. Uh, 
You want to be as you don't want to be as liberal with it as you are the brake free, because this stuff is so much more potent. If you're going to apply ATF, you definitely want to use gloves. Um, you don't want this stuff on your hands. You do absorb about 60% of everything you get on your skin. So you don't want this stuff on your hands. I mean, I'm kind of reckless with the Break Free CLP, and I shouldn't be. But uh, ATF is, is very caustic. And you definitely don't want any of that stuff on your hands. So if you're going to... Go ahead and step it up to ATF, definitely get the gloves on. Yeah, so I'm going to let this sit overnight, and we'll get at this again tomorrow night. And uh, we'll see whether or not I have any more bluing on this firearm, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> And uh, if I don't, that's fine. I'll just get it uh, Cerakoted or something like that. See if it does better with the rust. Alright guys, we're back. We let this thing soak overnight in transmission fluid. Now, we're going to go ahead. And I'm going to try and incorporate using steel wool. Ultra fine steel wool. To get rid of this rust. But this thing is kind of small, so I'm not so sure how much of this I'll be able to use. But basically, we're going to, you know, brush it and, and use some steel wool, and hopefully this mess will come off. Well, it looks like it took it off. Let's see how we go. Still got some of that mess on there. See if we can get that off. Just as a precaution, I'm gonna throw away any of these brushes and stuff that I used with the steel with the uh, with the ATF.
this process helped immensely inside the barrel but uh, you know the ATF nothing really did much anywhere else I mean the ATF did help on the slide on some spots but you know it's very I don't know I think I should have been able to get better results out of this um, I mean it helped out a lot but it wasn't what I was looking for uh, if I do anything else I'll I'll record it and let you guys know well you know what visually it's kinda disappointing but it did leave everything smooth at least I mean it still doesn't look as good as I wanted it to but you know the actual rust that was protruding from the firearm came off uh, it was definitely worth it inside the barrel be sure to use something to clean off all the steel wool because you're going to get little hairs on everything alright guys I'm going to go ahead and give you my final analysis on uh, how I think the rust removal process went I mean there's much more invasive products you can use than uh, brake free CLP and automatic transmission fluid uh, the thing is you're probably going to get rid of the whole finish which I actually thought the transmission fluid would do but it didn't do that and um, I mean if, if you really need a much more invasive product there's plenty of them out there you can go get them if you happen to know of them off the top of your head throw them down in the comments um, I can't think of any right now but I mean I've I've used them before but uh, you know I, I really suggest that if it's just a little bit of rust on something with a finish like a firearm you probably want to go ahead and try something less invasive like some brake free CLP or automatic transmission fluid before you go crazy with uh, you know the big guns and um, I don't know while I was doing it it didn't feel like I was getting a good result but now that it's done I think I got a pretty darn good result and I guess the next video is going to be about uh, what kind of finish I go ahead and put on uh, where the uh, where the bluing came off I gotta find some kind of bluing pen or something uh, to just uh, help prevent rust in those areas where I just got it off so I think I got a good result I'm happy with it I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys right there where you see that that little bit of pitting on the slide uh, was all brown you know I I think I might do well to go ahead and touch that up with a bluing pen but that was all a lot worse uh, the slide was a lot worse as well we'll go ahead and break it down a little bit so we can take a better look apparently uh, I need to use something a lot stronger if I want to get rid of these dark spots uh, they used to be brown I got rid of all of that just with uh, some brushes and some brake free CLP and then later on some transmission automatic transmission fluid uh, there was rust back here uh, I mean I don't know if, if you can tell the difference from the other shots but it is a lot better uh, all these dark spots are completely smooth from the transmission fluid and the steel wool um, I was thank God able to get a great result inside the barrel I mean there's still some uh, marks but it was a lot worse before I got a little Rid of a little something in there. Uh, yeah, I think I'm stuck with. Uh, with a little bit of pitting inside the barrel. Um, but I mean, it was much worse uh, before. 
the brushing and the automatic transmission fluid and all that. Right here, got rid of all the brown stuff that used to be there. Uh, the transmission fluid and the uh, the steel wool took it straight out. I had a much harder time. It was a lot harder to get pressure in these nooks and crannies. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I might want to just uh, strip this thing down with a much more invasive product. Uh, there's one that's famous for naval use and I forget what it's called right now. If you guys remember, please put it in the comments. I might go ahead and use that stuff and just uh, have it refinished uh, with Cerakote. Because hopefully the Cerakote will protect this metal much better. Um, I'm happy with the results. I mean, I did get rid of a lot of rust spots. There were some rust spots right up here where my finger's at. There was rust there. It's not there anymore. Uh, there was rust on the, the breech face. It's not there anymore. There's rust over this way. It's not there anymore. The slide. I mean, the. it made a big improvement on the slide and on the... Uh, the barrel as well if you like my videos please like and subscribe thanks a lot for watching guys I appreciate your company